So heart failure is a complex disease process that can span a spectrum of conditions. I had a bypasses put in, I've had uh, stents put in, and I've had defibrillator and pacemaker. Our goal with care standardization is to improve at the first point throughout the hospital optimization of care. We want to make sure that patients who are here at Christiana Hospital, Wilmington Hospital, um, and any of our outpatient facilities have access to the same the levels of care, standards of care, and that they meet the most current guidelines. Fantastic treatment upstairs and down here to this, this unit here is fantastic. They really take good care of you. We created a bridge clinic available here right at the Christiana Hospital. So we focus on education, nutrition. We use a new technology called the Reds Vest, which the patient may have um, experienced in the hospital where we measure the level of fluid in their lungs to see how optimized they are from a volume standpoint. In addition to that, we have embedded in the clinic access to our supportive and palliative care team and behavioral health services if they need it as well. So our heart failure team meets regularly with nutritionists and psychologists and occupational health therapy, a gamut of, of health providers that are not necessarily dedicated to heart and vascular work, but their efforts complement greatly the work that's being done in heart and vascular on heart failure patients. It really becomes a holistic way of saying to the patient, you know, how are we going to get you better after the hospital and how are you going to stay out of the hospital and stay healthy? As a result, we're seeing mortality rates fall, we're seeing the need for hospital readmission fall, we're seeing compliance with what we, define, what we call optimal medical therapy or guideline-directed medical therapy increase. These are all things that we're hoping to gain and we're, we're seeing the fruits of that effort now.